the um, I I think that people are fascinated with uh, channelers because they apparently have access to beings that have the answers that we don't have. And so, uh, you know, whether it's Jesus, Buddha, Krishna, Mary, Isis, you know, the feeling is that these ascended masters have answers to uh, questions that we have. And so I think that that's the uh, excitement around channeling is that people feel like they can finally get some of their questions answered, that they can finally confirm things that they kind of know, but it feels really great to have somebody that is considered an expert validate the things that you are feeling. Absolutely. But I think that I have learned a lot from my conversations with them, but um, but they always direct me to find my answers from within myself. You know, they always try to guide me back to remembering who I am and what I already know. Yeah. And, uh, and so I think that that is incredibly instructive because we truly have all of the answers within us. You know, if you uh, understand the concept of uh, the holotropic universe, then every single point in the universe contains the entirety of God. And so thus, we have access to the entirety of God. And so all of the answers are within us. <laughs> but there's so many different ways to slice you know, the apple that is the universe. I mean, so you can look within, but you can also go from the perspective that everything around you is simply a reflection of your essence. And so then you could get answers from the things around you if you just listen and pay attention to everything around you. And so the bottom line is that anywhere you look, inside or outside, you can find the answers to all of your questions. Um, but it is a big lesson for humanity now to understand that that God is within and that they can access God and their higher self just by focusing internally. Um, and it's become a lot easier than it used to be a lot easier to relax and breathe and allow your essence to rise to the surface if you just take the time to do it. Um, so things have changed and, and have already shifted. We're just... Uh, in the middle of a big transition uh, now. And so things may appear to be chaotic, but they're 
moving toward uh, a nicer place. That's a, a big thing is um, understanding that God or source energy or whatever you want to call it, understanding that it is knowable, that we as human beings are capable of knowing God, knowing God intimately. That is a huge thing that humanity needs to understand. But yeah, that's a big, uh, a big theme uh, that I try to express in my book is that uh, God is knowable. Um, of course, the theme that I focus on after explaining that God is knowable is the idea that God is unknowable. <laughs> it's impossible to know all of it. So that's a, an enigma uh, that God is both knowable and unknowable at the same time. Hi, thank you for watching this video. This was a sneak preview of the mind-blowing and spirit-moving conversation with Kevin Blackwell, spiritual master and channeler. If this content resonated with you, we invite you to watch the rest of this episode for free on Mind Wealth. We'll dig deeper into the following topics and ideas. What is a question you should answer if you want to realize who you are and why you're created? The essence of different ascended masters and the nature of their relationship with Source or God. Kevin's experience of Buddha and the mysteries Buddha contains within himself. And finally, the word of the day in these troubled times we're living. Please click on the link in the description below and watch the rest of the conversation. We believe you'll enjoy it.